Sorry, I'm having a sound issue. Give me a second. Oh. So, can I talk or? Uh, yeah, oh, you also forgot to start your timer. Oh. Okay, if it's better now, then I will uh, talk again. Okay, uh, so I don't know how much you heard, but yeah, um, hi, I'm Dragolina. I will run all events for you today uh, with a very uh, fun one of very uh, uh, active and fun <laughs> um, uh, missions, uh, 41 to be exact, and we will have a lot of fun while we get uh, comboed and hopefully don't die oh we die okay it's okay um well the thing with all events is that it's a very rng heavy category uh which you kind of anyway, which which is kind of smash because except for subspace all of the categories are kind of a lot rng and ai heavy but especially this one in every single mission that's why my uh estimate is like over 20 it's like 20 minutes over world record because well i mean i am top three but the thing is rng uh in this um one can screw you up so much that uh yeah you really need a lot of more time well um well you maybe would think i wouldn't like this category I and mean, it's true now unfortunately if you have won this category as much as i do it's uh you just submitted to Marathon to make fun of Marathons to make fun of it. It's basically a meme for me. <laughs> uh, okay, so in this mission we need to get three Dragoon pieces to um, defeat uh, three Varios. I picked up normal because uh, even though the AIs of the Varios are normally more aggressive, the end is way more consistent because you usually get all of them pretty uh, uh, consistent, but. Um, like I said, RNG, is, RNG and AIs aren't that awesome in this category, which is why uh, we maybe need a bit longer for some missions, which I really, I can't do anything against that. But, hmm. Yeah, I hope you have all a awesome day today. Um, I will also do uh, all of those missions in a, a different order, because... Uh, it's my personal order because you you aren't forced to uh, do them in any um, you you aren't forced to do them in the order from one to forty one and also uh, some missions are just so RNG heavy that you really don't want to do some of them later in the one so basically just did the uh, the top five and with top five I mean the top five worst uh, missions in the entire one which are like most most reset heavy. But yeah, now we will come to some um, easier missions, like 18. Either you die or you don't die. Ah, uh, okay. Um, basically, some of those missions are just you do a thing and it has two outcomes. Wow, it's like an up, it's like an RPG. Also, thanks, Lordig, for the weight on my own channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. Um, well, it doesn't matter, it does the exact same thing, especially on mission 18, but if you... Yeah, because uh, there's so much RNG and such um, involved, it really, really, really can suck some, um, it can really not be that great sometimes. Okay, so in this mission, we use Coopers to... Uh, Fight plumbers. Please don't try that at home. Thanks you. Unfortunately, the hitbox of the uh, sorry, the hitbox and the grab box of uh, those Coopers aren't that great, which means that uh, yeah, um, it can often happen that you just uh, 
a punch v, uh, v, v turtle instead of grabbing it and it, uh, it's, uh, it's not that great. Um, so, because I'm a little cheater, I um, did something before the one which was to pick up uh, Ice Climbers here. Because if you enter a so-called All-Star stage with a certain character, it will be safe for the next time and we do that to save time. I also uh, preloaded the first stage, which means that I just... Uh, uh, which means that I just loaded the uh, mission 31 before I even started the one to uh, save some time at the beginning. Because it quite makes a difference if you preload the stage or don't. Also, I don't pick up the uh, mushroom because it would uh, change how the grabs of Ice Climbers work. Uh, well, we abuse something here called grab characters, uh, which means... Okay, I should um, say which means that of less often. Um, but some characters really have a really broken uh, grab range. And it's really easy to just throw some of them off. That was a really good mission 20. Normally Zero Suit Samus or um, Olima are kinda trolly, but uh, yeah, I'm glad it didn't happen now. Uh, a lot like the best missions in uh, all events usually involve grabs uh, because that's that are like the missions where it can go the least wrong it's uh, a lot of things can go wrong here and I'm happy about everything that doesn't go wrong but that's hard <laughs> um, Something being easy is just hard. Okay, mission 22 is uh, pretty much uh, what the all events community, yes there's an all events community, like three people, say like the worst mission because the thing is, um, it's pretty much like the mission with Ganondorf where you can't deal damage or knockback. Uh, but in this case you really can't do anything and have to rely on a Really bad uh, Donkey Kong AI. <laughs> shout out on uh, shout out on uh, Quantum Core for running um, Mario X Rabbits before. But uh, seriously, um, the AI is really not that great, and it um, you have to rely on it because uh, you just can't do anything, and it, it's boring. It's just a boring auto scroller mission. Thing with all events is that either half of the missions are auto-scrollers or pseudo-auto-scrollers. I wish there would be more gameplay, but... Uh, like I said, it's fun to make fun of it, always. It's like submitting uh, We Fit Plus to a marathon. Shout out to uh, Count Gooby. You're great. You're great, dude. But yeah, I have a fit. Um, but not only uh, Donkey Kong's AI is pretty bad, also the ones of the enemies, which means that you just have to wait and wait, and it's just an auto scroller. Well, I mean, not only the stage is an auto scroller, but also like the, the enemies, the entire concept. Well, I mean, we stay, the mission can do, can be done in like 20 seconds, but <laughs> that, that never happens. Yeah, it's over. Woo. Um, mission 23 is the uh, pain of some well, I'm all events players, but I don't think it's that difficult. It's pretty much just an auto scroller. Hmm, where have I seen that before? Uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> where you have where you have to fight off um, Captain Falcon and Fox until um, uh, until the lava goes so much up that. A escape port appears and you have to go in it uh, without getting like um, killed or getting kicked out and stuff just have to wait um, as soon as the escape port appears I um, usually get uh, kicked out of the stage be because it wounds the AI a lot I also actually don't want them to open the escape port because uh, 
when you open it at the end, they won't come after it at all, which makes it just uh, easier to um, uh, do this mission. So yeah, it's not that hard. Um, mission 24 is the exact same mission as mission 13, but with uh, Captain Falcon's Ultra Smash, his, uh, I think, Blue Falcon, no, not sure, Blue Fly or Blue Falcon, I'm not that... I don't know that much of uh, F-Zero lore. But yeah, you basically just have to hit both warps with the uh, hitbox. Um, with the hitbox of the Falcon Flyer. Yeah, I think it was Falcon Flyer. Uh, the next three missions will uh, either abuse uh, grab, <coughs> grab ranges or down C moves, but you will see it soon. Because we have like nearly 200% we either get uh, killed very soon or can do this. Because we can pretty much uh, with side, side throw throw them through the entire stage and it's really fun to look at. Um, unfortunately, uh, it would be as easy here, but uh, the uh, grab, uh, the grab from uh, NAS is unfortunately not that well programmed for both of them. So I just um, try to get them off, off of the stage or bat them. Um, usually, there's also a grab strat for this mission, but it's easier to just uh, down see them. There are some points of the stage where uh, uh, the characters just constantly go out of your attack, which is pretty bad, but and you have to rely on grab strats, but on some instances you can just do this. Well, I mean, this. It was the wrong direction. But uh, moments like points like this uh, are really bad for that. Also like down here. Bowser, Bowser's AI is kinda bad sometimes, so, so I just ho hope that he gets, uh, we're not eaten, but like bitten by that thing, because it insta-kills. Um, this mission is pretty weird, because it's basically just, uh, coloring plants and leaves. That's it. Not even all plants, but like only, uh, all, not all leaves, but like just, uh, the ones in the middle. It's um it's weird. Um Oh nostalgia okay now we will uh, fight against the uh four four secret characters of Smash Bros 64 spoiler um I hope I not I didn't spoil uh, anybody that game um And yeah, it's basically like nearly every single uh, all-star stage can be done with uh, ice climbers, but li like not every single one. There are some where it's really, really bad if I would pick uh, ice climbers. Also, the thing with ice climbers is we could also use other grab characters, which have an equal uh, broken grab gra grab range, but um, the thing is uh, ice climbers have the chance to uh, just grab two characters at the same time and both Ice Climbers have the uh, exact same uh, grab range which, uh, which just makes it really powerful and it's pretty cool oh nice Sonic okay um, so the thing uh, with Sonic is I mean some people probably like this character, but I really uh, can't say that because it's really hard to connect moves with Sonic. You really have to force your way uh, into a attacking enemies uh, because otherwise uh, nothing will hit. It's um, it's pretty weird and uh, bad sometimes. I mostly have to rely on that thing here, but. This time it worked uh, pretty well. Uh, but yeah, it's just a regular Sonic movement. 
That spin dash is ba probably the uh, best move against them. Okay. Okay, because we already did mission uh, 31, we can now do mission 32. Um, I really practice that mission a lot, but I'm not really good in it. Um, there's a strat where you can uh, back throw, uh, like, where you can go to the left point, uh, left end of the stage and then back throw Mr. Game and Watch, but that, like, never works. So I just have to rely on uh, whatever luck gives me. And that's mostly not that much. So I'm not that good in this mission. And I really tried. And if luck is bad, luck is bad. But it's all events, so we know. Uh, but if um, Cap Mr. Gaming Watch has like 40% a medium charged uh, up A should uh, do the job. But unfortunately the AI is kinda aggressive to me. So um, uh, it can, can be a bit longer. Uh, can I pop in with a donation real quick then? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, Corundum Core, $50, retroactive donation for the impromptu, um, it's except so I can't read it, wiggle cutscene. Put this towards reading all messages in Kaizo Mario World. You got it. Nice! Uh, thanks for that, uh, donation. Okay, we can also skip 33 now because we already did that mission. We don't have to uh, deal with uh, aggressive enemy AIs yet. And I'm really happy about that. Okay, um, this mission is the uh, second to last mission where we will actually use uh, Ice Climbers because even though the stage is really big, most of the characters except... Uh, uh, or was, uh, what, uh, was it the wrong direction? Except for like... Captain Falcon and, uh, sorry, Falco and uh, Ganondorf will have the same thing, but okay, the was pretty weird currently. I will, I will start that, um, I'll start with mission again. Sometimes the AI is pretty uh, weird when you um, aren't good at the beginning. It happens. Heavier characters mostly uh, load faster, especially like in the middle of um, the fight. Oh. But the all events AI is pretty uh, aggressive in this section. Huh. AI is clam. Oh. Uh, the thing is, um, the AIs of uh, brawl enemies. It if it's like on uh, subspace or not, uh, it's pretty item centric. Uh, so they mostly just go to items and use them very quickly. And I mean they can use them way more quicker and way um, way uh, better than you. Which uh, isn't that great always. Uh, you I mostly wait here a little bit because uh, the stage uh, differences make it easier to uh, get rid of Ganondorf and Falco. It's hard in the original stage layout. Um, we will again, uh, for the next two missions, uh, use grab characters as uh, our Oh, uh, how, how can I say it? We just throw them out of the stage. <laughs> it can happen sometimes that Jigglypuff just rolls out of the stage, but it, it worked pretty well this time. Um, the next mission is uh, actually pretty easy. I mean, Captain Falcon and Samus are always pretty nice to me, but Wolf is mostly a, a pain. Um, so, I just uh, defeat the... I just... Uh, if we the uh, down wall and the up wall to like mostly the down wall so that it's easier for wolves to get to me. I can either do it with grabs like this because the grab is really broken uh, or with uh, side C. But like I said, wolf can be eh. 
Worth as well. Nah. No, I did did this thing. Okay, good. So mission thirty seven is a mission that mostly works for me, but uh, doesn't work for a lot of other uh, runners of this category because uh, this mission here can quite um, can quite be uh, something because you have to first get both of them to quite 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 a lot of damage so that uh, you can kill them both in a in the tornado there but it's really hard because the AI in this uh, session is really bad to me and I think I have to wait f for a different tornado cycle or oh it was like on the last second okay that's fi that's fine with me even in a normal one. Ooh, that was scary. Okay, and um, this mission I normally want to get the loop done, which involves kicking both of them from the stage. Uh, oh, oh yeah, also this... Uh, The stage also just spawns bomb uh, stuff and um, assist trophies, so there, there isn't more. And like um, those things, yeah. But I mostly just want both of them in the loop. But that works like never. Okay. And it was better than the last two times I did this mission. Neat. So this is actually now the last mission where we will use uh, Ice Climbers because for all the other missions uh, Ice Climbers become obsolete because either the stage is too big or the enemies are uh, way too heavy. And I mean heavy in terms of the stage and not the characters themselves. It's because sometimes the knockback can be different and That makes uh, mission 40, 41 and yeah 40 and 41 are hard to do with grab characters and I don't know what happened with Rob there. Uh, but the problem is that this stage is really inconsistent because uh, some of the characters just have a giant AI problem. Which means that if you don't destroy uh, certain platforms when, when they go to the... Uh, down part of this uh, stage, uh, they will never come back. So you actually have to destroy both of these platforms so that they even consider to come back up. The problem is you kinda need to throw them up. So, um, it's hard uh, if, they are if they are under me. So for the next two missions I have to pick Ivysaur. And if I would have the time for it, I would probably now make a giant uh, Ivysaur pyramid. But uh, yeah, I saw as the cutest thing that, cutest being that ever existed. I don't accept different opinions. Okay, I actually do, but I, I, I saw as cute, very cute. Okay, uh, so this mission can either be very aggressive or very uh, easy. Uh, I like it when when they just go into my up A without doing without dealing a lot of damage to me, which unfortunately didn't happen in the last few times I did this mission. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, um, I, mean, I mean I can also do it with Charizard, but I would like to have some damage uh, first with Ivysaur. Mission 40 and 41 are sometimes really inconsistent, but it's all events, so I, I know what I got into. See? It was completely different. It was good. Okay. Mission 41 is exactly the same. Either it can be... Uh, or it can be... Pretty good. 
Okay. Mostly just uh, where the AI is mostly a little bit less aggressive here, which is uh, nice, but you kind of just have to uh, try to hit more of them with one hit. Oh, I have not as that, oops. But yeah, uh, if you have seen my new game plus one, you will probably notice, uh, still know that uh, Charizard has a really broken side B, and it also does a lot of things to normal enemies. It just has a really broken knockback. It depends on the angle uh, you hit them. Like, depending on the angle you hit them. And on their weight. And on the uh, st stuff that's, uh, that's that happens on the stage. But like I said, if enemies have items, it mostly works really, really against you. Whee! You, we, we, we mostly don't want to use items because it's slow in uh, every single occasion. Okay. That was... Nah. Okay. Oh, now we will start at mission one. That means we will start with the entire one again. Okay, no, we won't. No, no. Um, those are the first ten missions. They are either pretty fast or pretty... Um, why do they even exist? Uh, so, for the first mission we will use uh, down A. Uh, because the last hit of down A or down C, depending on what you use, uh, really does quite a lot of knockback. Uh, which can be w really well utilized. The problem though now is mission 2. Well, you probably think, wow, there's a land ma master in the thumbnail. There should probably be something exciting. Well, the thing is, uh, no. Well, when I, when I mean, we talked about auto scrollers and pseudo auto scrollers, where you either, where it's even auto scroller by, um, by actual means, or just a auto scroller, which is a, which is kinda, um, hide it and st stuff, but the thing here is that you, you see the timer up right, it starts with a minute and you ha just have to wait for one minute. And nobody knows why this mission exists, you just have to uh, defeat one of them. But uh, yeah, well I mean that's done in like two seconds and I've already done it four times, so um, um, this mission is pretty uh, something. We we don't we all don't know why it exists, but it, it exists. So we're all always happy when it's over. Nice. Okay. Wow, Meta Knight. Well, yeah. The thing is that Meta Knight is mostly really bad in single player categories. We use him in like uh, subspace and. Uh, also intense, but and mo sometimes classic easy, but not anymore. So um, Met Meta Knight is only like good in uh, subspace, really, which means that uh, we don't use him that much in uh, any other single player single player category. If somebody um, thought about that, why well, we don't use Meta Knight for any of this? It's really not that good in our single player categories. Um, so the best RNG is if we would get uh, Ivy Source or first Pokemon, but uh, we really can't. Um... Oh, that was actually the best, um, the best order we could get because uh, thing is. Um, they won't have uh, they won't have iframes at the beginning, and they, we actually have elemental weaknesses in this game, uh, for just for Pokemon Trainer. And if you first get Squirtle as your uh, opponent and have Ivy so well, it quite does a lot. 
and it's really fast then. Well, I mean, we could also have gotten Charizard or Squirrel, but that would have been very slow. Okay. Well, this is just an auto crawler. We play on hard mode because, uh, yeah, it's fast. Um, a lot of times a bomb just spawned while I jumped uh, in some marathon run, so I don't hope that it happens now. That would be cool. I would uh, respect that. Okay, good. Good. Now we have to uh, defeat some uh, monkeys with uh, monkeys. So we defeat some Diddy Kongs with Donkey Kong. Wow, it even more connects back to uh, the game before. Ooh, ooh. Woo. But yeah, the good thing is just that we can gladly uh, make every auto scroller faster, except for like the uh, pseudo auto scroller, and that's really good. I like that quite a lot. But yeah, this is just a combination of uh, down C and uh, up air, like this uh, head bug. Okay. Had uh, attack. Uh, so for this mission, we just use uh, down B, which is uh, Pikachu's thunder move. Um, the good thing is that it has really a lot of knockback through to the left and right side, so we don't ne need to use many of them. Two is pretty good. Uh, if you think we would need to defeat uh, Donkey Kong, uh, no, we just have to defeat two Diddy Kongs. The edge of our, our sword is uh, pretty strong, so we just try to either knock them down, either knock them back or knock them down to the front and yeah. We just want to do that as fast as possible. In a speed run, whoa, wow. But yeah, stuff like a fire flower isn't that great, so um... Like I said, every single time one of them gets an item is not, not good. Hey, Lin on a Fire Emblem stage. What a coincidence. But yeah, Donkey Kong would appear at the uh, third part of the stage. Okay, this is now the last All-Star mission. For this mission we will uh, pick Pikachu. Because um, we the stage will be a final destination and the stage is so big that not... Uh, not even ice climbers can reach up that high with their uh, grab range and uh, yeah so we just use Pikachu because his uh, or hers uh, her thunder range just goes we up really high and if you get the right rhythm down you can can defeat all of them with the uh, correct place up uh, down B if you get it from the start. There's a certain rhythm to it. Like this one. Or this one. <laughs> but if you don't get it from the start, it's mostly... Uh. But like I said, you can still, uh, because this is easy mode, uh, can still just throw them uh, to the left or to the right. That's pretty neat. And that was, okay. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, five missions left. Neat. Uh, this mission can also uh, not work mostly, but we just have to defeat six Yoshis uh, in order f from their appearance just. Uh, sometimes they can, we be, can be really frustrating and sometimes their AI just doesn't work, but at least we got a good AI down because sometimes even if they if their AI isn't that good, you can also just desync the moves of both ice climbers to um, make it even easier. But it just worked this time, so I'm happy it did. Uh, this mission we just have to put both of them into X, like this. Um. Um. 
hi Cody in my chat. Um, yeah, I currently do a all events one for speed runs Ragnarok, so um, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Um, so in this mi this mission is uh, I think our last no our second to last uh, studio art scroller. In this mission, we just have to uh, get six pigments and wait. 40 seconds and then uh well, well um, that's, that's pretty much it i love my pseudo auto scrollers in this game <laughs> but yes it's the uh, third last mission so uh the next two missions aren't that missions aren't that long so i would say uh get ready on uh, a time after this mission Uh, it felt it felt a bit, little bit long because two pigments uh, got defeated at the beginning, but it's fine. Okay, uh, so this mission is pretty funny because um, <laughs> the metal gives a certain kind of floatiness, um, uh, which still goes downwards because uh, he's pretty heavy and. This is now the last mission where we just have to wait until we get a uh, smash ball and then uh, use it. And that's, that's the 40, 30, uh, 41st mission. Uh, uh, this can also happen sometimes. Wow, we just want that the marathon one goes longer. I feel, uh, <laughs> I feel happy about that, but okay. No, ha okay, that never happened before, but they got it twice, and I don't want that to happen again. Okay, and time. Okay, so can I? S no. What? G, very good, thank you. Okay, can I say my goodbye stuff and things? Absolutely, of course. Okay, good. Then um. Hi, um, I am Dragolina, I front all events for you now, um, uh, I would, I, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty, I would say, interesting category which consists of auto-scrollers and pseudo-auto-scrollers which are totally fun and I really appreciate the showing this meme category off in this marathon too, um, I hope you all enjoyed it, thanks for all of the GG's, um, I would really appreciate if you would, uh, Go my Twitch channel and would drop a follow because um, I really try to stream more often and um, I'm really close to the 200 so that would be cool but uh, yeah it was pretty nice to run for this marathon twice I really had a lot of fun with it and I hope you have a lot of fun with the rest too okay thank you again. thanks okay